Back you, baby. I met Wu Tang in 1989. My Bernard father had a church, Staten Island. He took me to go meet Ray Kwan. While I was in my Iraq, I saw half of the Wu Tang clan, that, or, or majority of them, maybe all of them. There's a picture with me and all of them on the Iraq mm. at their building. I went to Ray Kwan's building, sat down on his steps. His name was Shala. That was his mm. name. We sit there and we talk. And then on um, somebody's podcast, he said, yeah, I almost signed with Eric. Right? My boy d Mac bought me game. They went to Fox Hills Mall. I told game, yo, spit 16 bars. Game didn't know what 16 bars was. He spit 40. He didn't spit nothing. He just, uh, just didn't rhyme. Uh, but when you, hit it, so when you hit an interview in Vibe, he says, I almost signed with Eric, but he wasn't ready. Ludacris knocked on my door every day. Ludacris got signed to Def Jam. He called me. He said, where should I go? Silver Rome or Def Jam? I said, go to Def Jam. Bernard bought me Biggie Smalls at a barbershop. I didn't even look at him. <laughs> the, 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 the story was I already had my thing. Next thing you know, Puffy and Hype Williams shoot my Hit and Switches video. Biggie Smalls right there, do every scene. He tells Tracy Waples, I got to get on Eric's album. But I already had my own crew. And then Jam Master J, rest in, rest in peace, had a kid named Joe Sinister. So I, 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 so I, was, I already had somebody else that was outside the camp already on it, on the, on the album. Mm. There's nobody to say that there's no cap, but Tracy know that she know. And, 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 and Puff will tell you too, that his biggest, his favorite group is EPMD. That's Puffy's favorite group. That was my favorite group you know, too. So, but, but, but I'm saying, so when you look at, <laughs> but, but I'm, I'm saying, so um, um, well, Nas used to live in Quorum, 64. Mm -hmm. Bernard bring him to the studio. I don't understand the language of Queensbridge and the, 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 the <laughs> whatever, because I'm from here. Mm -hmm. And all my rappers have, you know, their own style, but it's not, it's not the street style. Mm -hmm. Right? So I was giving him regular beats. Mm. He did a couple. I wasn't taking it seriously. Nah. After, after he leaves there, Bernard takes him to Pete Rock. I, was, I could have been on Illmatic. That's the biggest mistake of my, that I look at myself <laughs> that I Yo. look at right now that I wish I could have been on that, you know, at that time. I mm. missed it. I, I think when you're in this industry, everyone I've ever met has those stories. There are people, I remember I was trying to get a Drake interview and they were trying to pull a fast one to make certain things happen. I barked on everybody and everybody I barked on became somebody. Wow. <laughs> like, it, it was a whole staff. And yeah, I'm talking about- They was attached to Drake. Yeah, yeah you know, they, it was a, it's like, can you do this? Like, get this you promised me this, this is what it was. And every single person is a big wig. And that's just a minimum. I remember even, yeah. Like, we all got multiple. Well, when, I, yeah, you, yeah. Well, when I was doing Black Street, because I did Booty Call, the first single when they first came out. Yeah. I didn't know you did Booty well, Call. When I was at Teddy's, me, that's all right. Yeah, stop playing with him. Nobody. I didn't know you did Booty Call. <laughs> unless you're going to go and, and do Google and fuck around with niggas, <laughs> you like, yo, for real. I just, I, the niggas just silent, because don't, don't forget, that nobody talked back then. There was no social that, media. That's true. When I was doing Black Street, there was two kids in there, and they was Chad and Pharrell. Oh man! Right. So Pharrell had this other singer that was that was singing, but Pharrell said, "Yo, I rap." So I said, "Come in here and come rhyme." So I put Pharrell on two songs. If you go on YouTube right now, you will see a record with me, Pharrell, and Teddy Riley called "Boot Knockalization." You hear him rhyme? Knockalization. Yep. Yeah, whatever the, the the name that they Teddy recorded this and that mm -hmm. that and this. So before that, this is people who. I came across, you know. Don't forget, Young Bird used to live in my house for six months. He became hit maker later. Mm. But this is somebody who, you know, these people, 50 Cent was in my basement. Rick Ross slept on my basement floor. How do you get on Shaq food? Yeah, because Shaq called me. He's the only one that went platinum. Yeah. I did yeah. that first. When I tell you nobody is me, no one. <laughs> they, they, they can talk about. They, they, they can, I love them. You know, no, they can talk about. Of course, they did made made bigger records. Yeah. But I, everybody came to me. 
At one time, there was that phone. If you was a singer, a rapper, or whatever, look on that wall. But again, I was always a humble person. And again, there was no social media. So people only found finds out later. Like yeah. people still be like telling me, yo, you, you know Reddit Meth? <laughs> yo. <laughs> you know, they listen, they, I'm telling you. That's so, believable. So, 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 so when I'm, they hear 4321 and be like, and they hear the record, they be like, yo, oh, you made that? I, I forgot you made 4321. I'm just giving you a little questions how how people look at certain things and be like, because again, you will never know this unless you sitting there and you, you know, as I mean, we read credits back then, but it was a, it's yeah, a wild but, you know, so Some people don't know. Yeah, so I'm just giving you a little Did more you ever things. try to people still be asking questions? Since you made that beat and you had a hand in it, did you ever try to slow down that collision that was gonna happen with LL and cannabis? No, because don't forget cannabis was death squad. Mm. If you play Heat Wave on 50 Cent, he says, 50 Cent, baby, Eric Sermon, Def Squad. You don't say nothing else. That story where Corey Williams speaks, that they bring him to my crib, you heard of Corey Williams. That's the yeah. true story. You knock on my door and be like, yo, it's my man 50. Well, Corey was on our and, show. And, and Bernard Manners, oh yeah, it was your show. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 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 Bad view. <laughs> ain't nobody interviewing Corey Rooney. Corey Rooney ain't having nobody else at his crib it, and all exactly. that. So, 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 so on your show, the story was told. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, like, yo, like, you're right. If, if, if I can be able to, yo, this is my first time people hear me talking because I was a person that was never going to big up yourself. Yeah. Over, was... Because it wasn't something that you felt good doing. Like somebody else supposed to talk about you. Exactly. Yeah. But when I got older, my mom said, Eric, you was, my mother died eight months ago. Mm. Best friend with cancer. So she's like, only thing about you, you humble to a fault. Mm. But I'm, I'm happy because this is how my career supposed to go. And that's why when you hear me, niggas don't, that don't know me, that talk about me, you don't know me. But my respect rings. That's how I last in this game that long. The respect niggas got for me. Because I did shit for free for niggas. I helped niggas out. I gave niggas money. I put rims on niggas' cars when I had the, the rim shop in Georgia. You know, you, you'll see the Freaknik, I mean that Freaknik movie that coming out. Yeah. You see me narrating it while I talk about some of the stories. But other than that, again, this is what my career was. So I don't know nothing but to be humble. Like Denzel say, you never saw a, you never gonna see a U-Haul truck behind um, behind the hearse. You won't see it. only you go. So while I'm here, I don't want you to be like that nigga Eric's an asshole. Mm -hmm. I, I don't want that on me. So the only part I knew was to be the nice guy, you know. But it's better that way because look what happened. It gave me the respect last now to be in here in this game for me to fucking pick the phone or go to a DM and niggas be like, yeah, of course.